Hey guys, I hope all is well. I have a limber up stretch routine for you today. So this is great to do whenever your muscles are feeling tight and you really just want to lengthen them and release the tension in your muscles. Okay, so we are going to get started by bringing our arms behind our backs. Go ahead and clasp your hands together just like this. Widen your stance a little bit here and then bend the knees just a little bit as you exhale down. Okay, we're gonna hold each stretch for about 20 seconds. And as you're stretching, try to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. All right. Slowly bring the arms closer to your back, but make sure you keep those hands together. And then slowly roll up. At the top, go ahead and bring those shoulders back, really opening up the chest. Bring the arms away from the back and hold here. All right, release the arms down by your sides. Go ahead and widen your stance here. Inhale, arms all the way up. Exhale through the mouth as you reach down for the mat in the center. You can relax those forearms on the mat if you'd like. And then you can also kind of shift your hip from side to side, as I do this, it really intensifies the stretch in my inner thigh and my right leg, and then shift the hip the other way, and it intensifies here in my left leg. Okay, so shift around and find what feels good to you. Alright, from here, we're going to go ahead and walk our hands over towards the left foot. You might want to turn that foot out a little bit to make it more comfortable. As you reach for the toes, try to keep the left leg straight as you decrease the space between your chest and your thigh. Okay, so try to bring that nose close to the shin or the knee. We're going to walk over to the other side. Same thing here, all right? here and bend the left leg right leg is straight you're up on the heel of the right foot okay and again you can kind of shift around here to find a position that you like and that's beneficial to you so that includes moving the left foot around you can even bring the heel down to the mat that's going to intensify the stretch in the back of the heel back of the foot so it's up to you. Go ahead and pick. I like to be up on my toes here, and then I like to lean forwards, really intensifying the stretch in the inner thigh. So we're going to hold here.
All right, so now we're going to twist to our left side. And you can relax the right knee down on the mat. And you might need to walk the left foot forwards a little bit. As you lean forwards, you're going for a stretch in the right hip flexor muscles. Okay, so you can leave those hands as they are here. You can come up onto the thigh. You can even bring the arms all the way up here. Okay, whatever gets you the stretch you prefer the most. Okay, go ahead and shift back, straightening out the front leg, coming up on the heel here as you lean forward, stretching out the hamstring of the left leg. Sorry, I keep yawning, stretching makes me yawn. It means I'm nice and relaxed. <laughs> Hope you are too. All right, slowly sit up and then lean forwards a bit so that you can come back to center and shift all the way over to the right side, bending that right leg, okay? And pick whichever position you like here and hold. Go ahead and come up and twist to your right side. Left knee down on the mat here. And stretch out those hip flexors. Modifying the position as needed. Here, go ahead and shift back, straightening that front leg, come up on the heel, and lean forward, stretching out the hamstring. Slide forwards a bit here and come back to center. From here, I would like you to walk the feet towards one another and then we're going to get into down dog here. So make sure the legs and arms are straight, back is flat, you're driving your heels down towards the mat, press your hands into the mat because if you don't, your head's going to be here as you do. Help shift your body down. Okay, we're going to stretch out our calves here by alternating, lifting up the heels. All right, go ahead and come down to your knees. So hands and knees here. Cat cow stretch. Let's go ahead and give the spine a good stretch. So inhale, arch the back, bring the head up. And exhale, head goes down, around the back, belly button towards your spine. 
inhale up exhale down inhale and exhale all right now you can go ahead and lie down on your stomach we're going to stretch out the quads so start by bending the left leg grab the foot and gently pull okay Okay, release the stretch and switch to the other side. Same thing here. All right, relax the leg down. I'd like you to roll over onto your back. We're going to open up the hips a bit, so left leg is bent, outer right ankle onto the left knee, grab either your hamstring or your shin, and pull the legs in towards your chest. Okay, as you do so, really try to relax that right hip so you can get it nice and lengthened out, release all the tension from it. All right, let's go ahead and switch to the other side. This time, relax the left hip as you pull the legs in. stretch and you can sit up. Cross the legs here. Go ahead and bring the left arm across the chest, grab the tricep and gently pull. Okay, you might feel this in your shoulder. Relax the arm down, bring the right arm across the chest again, grab onto that tricep and gently pull. Okay, relax the arm down, go ahead and bring the right arm up. Bend at the elbow, you're going to bring the left hand behind your back. Try to clasp the hands together here and gently pull. If you cannot reach your right fingers to your left fingers, right hand to left hand, you can grab a sock or a towel to help you be able to connect and benefit from the stretch. Okay? And as you do that, that will lengthen out the muscles that may be preventing you from doing so in your shoulder that are so tight and get you a little bit closer to being able to connect those hands. And pay attention to how tight you feel on this side in comparison to when we switch in just a moment because for me, when we switch to the other side, I am a lot tighter. This shoulder is a lot tighter than my left shoulder because I'm right-handed. So pay attention and see if that's the same for you as well. It's pretty interesting. All right, relax the arms down and we're gonna to switch to the other side. So I'll turn around so you can see that I have a harder time 
reaching and clasping those hands together. Okay, so left arm up this time, bend at the elbow, right arm behind the back, and I really have to walk it up here. And it's taken a lot of practice to get to this point on this side. And hold here. Okay, release the stretch. Go ahead and bring both arms behind your back. Clasp your hands together just like we did at the beginning of this routine. And open up the chest, bringing the arms up away from the back just a bit. And as you hold here, I'd like you to roll your head down and around, releasing tension from the neck. Okay, other direction. Okay, relax the arms down. Bring them to the front, palms out, releasing those fingers together. Round the back, belly button to your spine, just like we did in cat cow. And relax the arms down. Okay. Inhale, bring those arms up. Open your mouth as you exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Okay, great job. I hope that your muscles feel great. I know mine do. They feel a lot less tight and just shallowy, but in a good way. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I look forward to seeing you next time.